Okay, in this question, we have C and D, and they're positive integers. So C and D, positive integers, and now we also have M. M is going to be the greatest common factor of these numbers. So at this point, when you're dealing with all, the, with all these variables, it's a good idea to plug in numbers. And so let's choose 8 and 4. These are easy numbers, and I can find the greatest common factor, which is simply 4. Now, when I go through the answers, I want to see which of the following has the greatest common factor that is with C. Meaning, if A is C plus D, do they share a common factor that is also M? So let's just look at A. Using our own numbers, A is 12. Is the greatest common factor of 8 and 12 4? The answer is yes. And that's all we're doing. We're plugging back our numbers into the questions, and we're answering the question. And the question again is, which answer choice, and we already have A right here, is it so that M is the greatest factor of both C and whatever the answer choice may be? So let's go to B which is 2 plus D. D is 6. Now all of a sudden, is the greatest common factor of 8 and 6 4? No. So you can get rid of it. And this is how we're going to be able to go through here and eliminate numbers. C times D. Well, C times D is 32. And the greatest common factor of 32 and 8, I can even put the 8 there, because C is going to be constant all the time, is that equal to 4? And the answer is no, it's equal to 8. And so just like that, we can get rid of that answer. And then for answer choice D, we have 2 times D, so we have 8 times 8. Greatest factor, common factor is 8, not 4. Remember, we want to make sure it's M is 4. And then we go to E, and we have D squared, which is going to equal 16. And the greatest common factor here is 8. Now, sometimes you may not get so lucky with numbers, and you may, for instance, have plugged in 4 here and 8 here. And so had you done that, things wouldn't really wouldn't have worked out this nicely. So it's important to also think logically when you're plugging in numbers. And what I mean is, the reason I chose the larger number for C is a lot of these answer choices, that is from C down to E, have some multiple of D or D squared or D multiplied by C. So when we take a number that is smaller like D and we multiply it times itself, times 2, times C, we're going to increase this number. So for instance, when we multiply 4 times 2, we get 8. We increase d so that the greatest common multiple is no longer going to be d. It's no longer going to be 4. So all these numbers which are larger, none of them can actually work because they increase the greatest common factor, which in this case is 8. So at the end of the day, the only one left standing here is a, and that's our answer.